Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to simply drag and drop an image into a Word document and gives you lots of flexibility to move it around. But if you did decide that you wanted to pre-plan your Word document so you know where the titles were going, the subheadings, then I'll show you a method that will allow you to create a box and later on go back, select the images that you want to and simply drag and drop them into your document without it ruining the whole thing. So the first way is to simply grab your image, drag it to where you want it to go in your document and then you can simply resize it by clicking on the image, resizing it but unfortunately it doesn't quite do what you want it to do. So it is a very simple and easy fix, you simply go up to picture format, go along to wrap text, go down to tight and you can now simply move your image around your document and the text will simply move accordingly. So that's a quick and easy way to insert an image into your document. How if you'd like to pre-plan where your image goes, you haven't quite decided which image you want to use, the best way that I have found is to insert a table. So if I decide I want to put my image halfway down this document, I simply put the cursor where I want my image to go I press insert, table, and go across to insert a table cell. Now if I was to drag and drop an image into there right now, it's going to again explode across the page, which is not what we want. So we want to set this to the dimensions of the photograph. So generally, images that come out of a camera are 6 by 4 So if we go to table layout at the top here, and we set our height at 4 and our width to six, we're now left with a lovely box. However, if I was to try and drag and drop my image into there now, it's going to do exactly the same and explode across the plate. So we need to set this cell so it doesn't move. So the first thing we need to go up to is layout. We need to go down to auto fit. And this one here says fix column width. Now that will fix the width of your column. Now to fix the height, you simply highlight the table by clicking on this square icon here. Right click, go down to Table Properties, go to Row, and then on this checkbox here, you simply go down to the drop down menu, click Exactly. And that should enable you to drag and drop your image and it will resize according to your cell. However, the image doesn't quite reach the, reach the edge of this cell, which could be quite annoying if you then decide to get rid of these grid lines around the edge and you've got a, an image that doesn't quite reach the margins of your page. So in order to get rid of these margins you're going to have to take your image back out unless you haven't put it there anyway. Go up to cell margins and you will see that the left and right margins are set to 19 centimeters. So if we simply take this down to zero we'll check OK and now we should be able to simply drag and drop into that and it will fit beautifully. Now the other thing you can see is that the text again is not moving correctly around this table and this white space is left here. So we simply go up and highlight our table again, we right click, go down to, sorry it's highlighted the picture, we go up to the table, we right click, go down to table properties and where it says text wrapping we simply wrap it around and there you have it. So if I take the image out now you're left with this lovely text box where if you did decide to type more text you'll see that it doesn't move. However, if I was to type something up here, you will see that the text box or the, the table begins to move. Now that's not what we want to happen. Excuse my appalling writing. So what you need to do is to highlight the box again, right click, go down to table properties, and in here we have a positioning box and we have options here. 
and you need to uncheck move with text. This basically saying is when you're writing anything, the box will move down or the table will move down the document. And if you want it to remain exactly where it is in the document, you have to uncheck this box here. Check OK. Check OK again. And now you should simply be able to drag and drop this into your document. So what you can do is do this several times throughout your document that will allow you to set up different images in your document and they will remain there and you can type around it, move things around, but that image and that table will remain where it is at the time. So if I just quickly show you how to insert another table. Let's say I'm going to do it on the right hand side here. This time I'm going to insert my box again. I'm going to go up and I want it again to be four by six. I'm going to auto fit, fix my column width. I'm going to also fix my column height. I'm also going to reduce my cell margins so that they're at zero. If I drag and drop my image into there now, then it fits, but the text is a problem. So again, highlight it, table properties, go down to around, join the text wrapping section and I'm going to go up to options sorry I'm going to go up to positioning and I'm going to uncheck move with text now I want my box here to go over to the right hand side of my my document so I'm going to go up to the alignment section here and click right this is under the table properties it will come up when you right click on your table and press ok so that now fires it over to the other side of the document. So now if I was to take my images out, you can see I'm left with a document with two tables that are fixed in my document, the height and the, you can adjust the, the text boxes if you want it to remain the same dimensions four by six. If you click on this corner here, and hold the uh, shift key down. Oh, so it's being a bit fiddly. Hold the shift key down. What it will do, it will expand that box at the same dimensions. So now, if I was to drag and drop my image into that box, it would again do exactly the same and it would fit the text box. Uh, sorry, it would fit the table. Now, if you decided once you've got your images into your document that you wanted to get rid of the grid lines and you didn't want these black lines around it, you simply click on your table, you go up to table design, you go along to borders, down to no border, and then you're left with a very neat image, which you can then type around and the text will simply move around the box. So I hope that's helped somebody. I hope that has ensured that you don't spend the next week trying to find out how to do it. And if you do like this, please subscribe 